And I know we haven't gone into general session yet, but uh, just a couple of questions. Uh, I, I know you sent me to the group some of the responses you've received to the follow up questions on the annual disclosures. Yes. Sir. Are there still any, and obviously no names, but are there still any that haven't responded yet at all? Responded at all, responded to the questions. Uh, responded, submitted a form. Uh, yeah, they're, this, they're form. the same number. Okay. As before, I have not received any new forms. I have received a couple of more responses to the questions um, that I haven't sent you, but I'm happy to get those together and email them to you now. That would be great. Okay. We'll discuss it as a group, but we'll try to pick a time in the very next few days that we can sort of give you the updated set of comments and hopefully uh, get as far as we can. And with that. <laughs> well, why don't we do this? We have a quorum. Let's go ahead and start the session and uh, we'll cover anything too important until we get the next two. Uh, but let me, before we do that, I'll, I'll let me try to call Susan one more time just to see. Do we know if Maria is planning to attend? I don't. Uh, Would you like me to call her? Yeah, if you could, that'd be wonderful. Sure. Maria is coming on in a moment. Okay, great. I'm not finding Susan's number right now. Do you mind calling her as well? Sure. Norm, I left her a voicemail. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Well, let's give Maria a chance to join us and then we'll dive in to the substance. All right. Is there anything, are we going straight to executive session? There's a couple of little stuff, a couple of little things we should probably just discover, discuss generally and then go right in, but yeah. All right. Ali, do you mind resending to Susan the uh, executive session email as soon as we go into the executive session? Just let her know that we've gone in and to just join us there. Thanks. Hi, Maria, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here finally. Uh, Sorry. 
Perfect. No, 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 no problem. We, we just see your name, but not, not the uh, video yet. So I just want to make sure. Oh, bear with me one second. I apologize. Elena, who is running the executive session background for you guys, because I can't do both, said Susan is in executive session. Sorry about that. So Susan's already in the executive session? Correct. OK, just tell her to stay there. We will join her very shortly. Thanks. Uh, OK, I, I call the July 13th, 2022 meeting of the Village Marinic Board of Ethics in, uh, into session. Uh, we have one of our members already in the executive session. Uh, and so just very quickly, I don't want to forget to do this. Uh, I don't know if everyone's had it. Oh, there's Susan. We're all here. Perfect. Uh, hi, Susan. Hi. Sorry. Oh, I missed anything. Uh, so we're fine. just starting. So. OK. Uh, first thing is Sherry circulated the minutes from our last meeting. Uh, I don't know if anybody had any comments. I did not. Uh, if, if, if we're all good, I'd just like to get a motion to approve the minutes. I move the minutes be approved. Maria, I think you're still on mute. Yeah, I second. I'm sorry, I'm muted. I, I third. <laughs> All right, uh, all in favor of approving the minutes, aye. Aye. Very good. Aye. Now that we're all here, uh, Mark from Bob Spolzino's office is with us, and this is a, a good sort of transition into what we discussed at the last meeting, which was the availability of the village attorney's office to help with various things. Uh, Mark, just so we get a chance to get everyone's input, <clears throat> Sherry has been handling the minutes so far for us. Uh, I know your predecessor uh, sort of at uh, our, our meetings took care of drafting the initial shot at the minutes. Is that something you would you want to do or Sherry, would you prefer to do that? It, it, it's whatever's easier. Okay. I, I have not been doing that. So I, I'm just jumping in here. So I, I don't think I'd, be, a, I'd okay. be up to the task for now. Sherry, it's up to you if you want to keep doing it. You definitely can, but you don't need to, so. I don't need to, we don't need to take minutes. No, Mark, we, we can delegate the minute drafting to Mark if you prefer. I I have not done that before, so I, I prefer Sherry do it. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I can keep doing it. It's Thank fine. you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see the minutes the way they look and, you know, it would be very hard to transition over. So uh, we, we've, we, before we uh, sort of jump into executive session, the one other open session issue that, that we have discussed is Sally has been getting supplemented disclosure statements that correct some of the errors or address some of our questions and explain why questions were fairly properly answered, but just uh, gave the background and context so we can appreciate that. Uh, if it's okay with everybody, I'd like to go through the emails uh, that Sally sent us and just confirm what, you know, wh whether there's anything more to do or, wh or whether for that individual, uh, their disclosure, we can now view as complete. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll coordinate with Sally early next week, just with any of the remaining open questions that weren't addressed, just to understand why. And then uh, we had also talked about sending out a note that basically said to those that hadn't responded, uh, the Board of Ethics, you know, at this point, have it come from the Board of Ethics directly. Uh, notes that you are in violation of the ethics code or words to that effect. Uh, and it is imperative under the code that you supply the annual disclosure statement. Uh, and I, I don't think we have to sort of bang the table much louder than that, but if people have other things they wanna add, we certainly can, so. Uh, with that, does anybody else, know of anything that we want to get into before we talk about uh, the advisory opinion 
just ask the advisory opinion requests that we have before us uh, and, and also the other matters that we discussed in last session in executive session. I'm good. All right, everybody. So uh, Mark, do you have the link to executive session? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So if we get a motion to go into executive session, we'll, we'll reconvene there. I'll make a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All right, all in favor of going to executive session? Aye. Aye. Very good, I'll see everybody there. Thanks. I hope. <laughs> if you have a problem, Susan, just shoot an email to the village uh, email. It's account. in the email below, it's here it is. Okay. All right, I'll see you soon. Yeah, thanks. Bye.
I know Alan may not join us, but let's give Susan a chance to join us. I just wanted to let you guys know um, I'm going to be sending you the stuff I have. I have the sheet. I mean, I'll explain it to you on email. Okay. Some of the people just emailed me back answers um, and why they didn't fill things out. So I'm going to put those emails with their disclosure form and I'll send, I don't remember what I sent you. So I'm just going to send you the whole thing back, okay. everything I've gotten up to today. And I know some people actually gave you the corrections. Yes. Uh, we've already authorized you to handwrite those in and just put your initials there. So right, and I've done that. Okay, perfect. So. I've done that on them. So I think we have everybody, but Alan, and I know Alan uh, has uh, may not be able to get to us right away. The only thing left to do in this open session is I think try to schedule our next meeting. Uh, oh, perfect. This is the makes better. I'll just give Alan a chance to join. Al, I know you're on mute, but you're with us. So if you just want to. Okay. I'm here. I can see you. Oh, awesome. So the only thing we want to do, I think, is schedule the next meeting, which presumably, if everything goes right, should be my last one uh, as well. Uh, I'd love to do it in about you know a week, 10 days from now. Uh, this is one I think it would be helpful that we at least make sure all of our schedules work and make it potentially tentative in case uh, Having Mark as the go-between with Bob probably helps quite a bit now. As long as one of the two of them is available, I think we can make it work. Uh, so just pulling up the calendar. I leave. Uh, I'm not here in August. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> so the last week of July is fine for me. Oh, uh, midday. What does this have to be between 9 and 5? Is that what we're doing? Well, is there a way we can get to the courtroom? Later, like we can meet before the Board of Ethics or, or somebody else needs the courtroom? Yes. I mean, the courtroom, you can always just go to the police desk and they will let you in. And I would let them know that you're coming. Oh, okay. So, yes. But I have to check to make sure no one else is in the courtroom for whatever that date is. But you, they're usually 7, 7.30. So if you wanted to go in earlier. We can try to aim for something like a six o'clock meeting in the courtroom if that works for people. What could when what when are you talking about? Uh, for our last meeting right now, unless something changes, we have to meet in person. Yes, but what date are you talking oh, about? Oh, just sort of a general concept. Do, do people want to try to meet in the evenings or? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, don't don't we have to meet in the day if we're going to avail ourselves of Mark services? That's true, Mark. What's the day of the week? What days of the week are you in the village in the? Yes, still have to. Yeah, Wednesdays. Hours. I'm sorry. Wednesdays. Wednesdays. If we met at a 6 p.m. on a Wednesday, does that work for you? No. What are, what are your hours on the Wednesdays then that work? Up to five. To five. And there are, are some no evenings that would work for an in-person meeting. Mm, not, not for me. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. No. Sally, Bob's usually around on those. Which days is Bob usually around? He doesn't come into the village. Mark comes in on Wednesdays. Bob doesn't come in at all. Oh, okay. Bob does attend the board of trustee meetings, as does Mark, um, every other Monday. But those are Zoom participants? Um, sometimes they Zoom, sometimes they come in in person. But just for the board of trustees, I don't know if they would come in the evenings for any other meeting. Got you. What, what time are those Monday meetings? Five, they start. Oh, so, yeah. could always meet and could you call in yeah I was just gonna say, there's no issue with their participating remotely is there since no. they're not members of the, they're not panelists no okay so uh we could still do the times i think that work for us we'll just try to make sure that 
Bob or Mark could zoom in from wherever they are at that time. I think you can make that work. Or? Well, the thing is, if you're going to Zoom, um, unless one of you can host it, if you have a Zoom account that you can host it, they would have to pay me overtime to do it. And I don't know that Jerry wants oh, to do that. To do. I so it looks like it's good. logistically it's easier to, for us to do this during the day again, as we did for our one in-person session. Uh, are there days just that work for people? I'm thinking maybe something like um, Friday the 29th. Does that work for people? No, no. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, yes, I, I'm wrong. Um, at, af late afternoon, mid afternoon, lunchtime. What we think? What? No, Friday the 29th is the is the day I leave town. Do we want to go back to the 28th? Going to do it work. when Mark is here on a Wednesday, or can oh, you not do it on a Wednesday? Oh, yeah. The yeah, that's a good point. Thanks. What about the 27th for everybody? Yeah, I can. At what time? Four ish? Three? Lunch? Fine for me. Anytime. <laughs> I, I'm okay in the afternoon. I have to move some things around, but what I have more flexibility on the afternoon of the 27th. Sherry, Maria? I'm good. Well, I've got a commitment at three. <laughs> what? I have a commitment at three. I have a commitment at 9.30 and then at three. So <laughs> like, I would say noon is the sweet spot. <laughs> I can do that. Good for me. Works for me. Mark, that good for you? Uh, I'm sorry, the 27th? Just yeah. give me one second. Because I have to op I have, I'm open up like three windows. Here to... So we say, do we say noon or three? I'm sorry. Noon, yeah. Noon. noon is fine, yeah. And if you can invite Bob for us to that as well, that would be great. Where would that be? The Regatta? You should do yeah, why don't you guys yeah. do it here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Does anybody else have anything we want to address before adjourning for the day? I'm sorry, S Sally. If we, if we, since I'm here, he probably he likely won't be. Um, he, he may, I mean, he may be able to, but if he's not able to physically come, uh, but he is able to, could we do a Zoom from here? Yeah, or he could call in. We have that thing in the conference call. room. Yeah, yeah, we okay. have a, yeah, yeah. yeah, we can. He could do either one. And since I'm here, I could set up the Zoom for you. I just put I just it on and leave the room. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the schedule. It's usually packed, so I can't. Yeah. Either way. All right. Okay. With that everybody, thank you. The meeting's adjourned. And I look forward to seeing everybody on the twenty seventh. Sounds good. All right. Take care, guys. Here. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Wait, I want you to